So, another problem, ito, impromptu ko sasagutan. Very challenging din yung question. So, the problem goes like this. Three volumes, the volumes of three state points in an air standard diesel cycle are 300 cubic centimeter, cc, ah, 30 cc, and then 90 cc. Determine the power output if the heat input is 120 kilowatts. What is the power output na sinasabi niya? Ayan yung work net. Ngayon, binigyan ka dyan. Yung maximum volume, definitely that is the maximum volume. The minimum volume, and then yung volume niya at the combustion. Yung peak of the combustion. Tignan nyo ha. Kung i-draw natin yung kanyang diagram. Okay. Lagi ko dito yung diagram. Mas maganda may diagram ka dyan. Obvious naman, by looking at the diagram, di ba kung medyo ikaw eh, ano, medyo mahinahin na, maximum, ito yung maximum volume mo. <clears throat> This is 300cc. And then, obvious naman na ang minimum volume mo dyan is 30cc. And then, yung cut-off volume mo, or the maximum, uh, the volume at the maximum, uh, or the peak of the combustion, that is 90cc. Pwede ko na masolve. Bakit? Meron na akong makuha ang RK, <coughs> which is the maximum volume at V1 divided by the minimum volume at V2. Yun yung clue ko doon. And then, makukuha mo yung cut-off ratio. Yung cut-off ratio niya is V3 divided by V2. Saan mo magagamit yun? ito? Di ba sa thermal efficiency? Sa thermal efficiency yan. Ngayon, papakita ko sa inyo. That yung thermal efficiency mo has the work net and then QA. Meron kang QA, wala kang work net. Ito yung inahanap natin. Eh. Sa efficiency na to, makukuha natin. Okay? Kunin muna natin yung RK and then RC. So, RK and RC is 300 <coughs> divided by 30. <coughs> RK now is, I think that is 10. And then yung RC mo is 90 divided by 30. And that is 3. Oh, meron na tayo RK and RC. So, makukuha na natin yung thermal efficiency of the system. So, the thermal efficiency of the system is this one. Okay? 1 divided by yung RK, which is, diretso ko na, ginamit naman na natin yun. So, RK is uh, 10 raised to 1.4 minus 1 multiply to, oh, dito. Pag nasa taas, RC raised to K. RC is 3 raised to 1.4 minus 1. Pag nasa baba naman, 1.4 multiplied to 3 minus 1. Makukuha ko na kagad yung efficiency niya. So, the efficiency in terms of decimals. Okay? Solve natin. So, mas convenient na way to sa akin. 1 divided by 10 raised to 1.4 minus 1. That is 0.4 multiplied to Uh, 3 raised to 1.4 minus 1 Uy, na nawala ng 1. Ayun. Tapos dito, 1.4 multiplied to 3 minus 1. Obviously, that is 2. So, meron na tayo na ito. Tapos, i-minus ko ng 1. So, ang naging answer dito is, oh, hindi negative yan. Ha? Binaliktad ko lang yung pagkaka-minus kasi para hindi ko na siya isulat ulit. So, 0.48052. Yan yung efficiency of the cycle. Pwede ko nang kunin dyan. Sa efficiency na yan, yung work net divided by QA. Yung work net, pakuha ko na. I-reform ko na ganito. Work net is simply equal to E multiplied to QA. O, meron na tayo. So, work net now. Work net is equal to 0.480252 multiply to QA na binigay niya dyan 120 kilowatts 120 kilowatts what will be the answer? multiply ko na lang pag ano nyo na i-neglect nyo na negative so the answer for work net is equal to 57.63 kilowatts Check na natin kung tama doon sa ating sagot. Oh, sakto, di ba? 
sakto to the decimal point. And that is the problem number four, very basic. 